We start off in the second of the afternoon with Bell Rose and a newly returned Callan Murray. Yeah, she comes off a bit of a layoff. She did have a few issues. Um, this is probably the soundest we've ever had her. I think she's got a nice galloping weight. Um, she just may need the run, but you know, I expect her to be in the first three or four. Excellent. On to race three, first look at the PA, one of a kind. Also, Callan? Yeah, she was disappointing last time, but we did have our excuses. Um, she's fitting well this time and we're expecting a big run. It looks like there's plenty of promise in race five with B21 and the same jock. Yeah, B21 found trouble in her last start. Um, she still managed to run fourth, which is very nice. Um, I think the race will work out for her. She's in good form, expecting a good run. And then Zakira in the eighth? Yeah, she's a nice filly. Um, we've just been ha running her over sprints, and I think she's just been finding them too short. This will be her first time over 1,400, and she's well-weighted. So I think uh, all things are in her favor, and we're expecting a big run. Lovely. And then on to uh, the 10th race, where you've got Farik. Yeah, Farik is a hard knocker. Um, he's got a bit of a tough draw to overcome, but you know, there's no reason why he shouldn't be in the money. Then uh, Stable Companion has got loads of ability. Um, form's been a little bit unpredictable, but there have been good reasons for that for active loyalty. Yeah, he has been a bit in and out, but his last run was better. First run with a tongue tie, and he managed to, to run second. Um, he's got another good jaw, so there's no reason why he shouldn't go close again.